Okay, we're going to be making venison chili tonight. We're going to start off with uh, oh, about a pound, pound and a half of uh, finely minced up venison and we're going to match that with a pound of 80-20 uh, uh, just ground beef and some of our other ingredients. We're going to have uh, four large jalapeno peppers that the seeds have been taken out of. Uh, if you really like it hot you can leave the seeds in but I, I generally like it a little bit cooler than that. We've got uh, oh about a pound of cooked beans there, two uh, large yellow onions that we've diced up, and then a, oh, a couple of Romano tomatoes that have been chopped up. And then to complement that, we're going to go ahead and put in some uh, diced tomatoes. Oh, I guess that's, oh, I don't know, 28 ounces of those diced tomatoes. Then on the spice lineup over here, we've got uh, some chili powder. We'll put in a couple of tablespoons of that. Paprika couple of teaspoons gonna throw in no oh, I don't know a few good shakes of that uh, Worcestershire sauce little cayenne pepper uh, oh probably eh, maybe one two teaspoons of that we'll give a few little shakes of the liquid smoke uh, maybe a couple of teaspoons of this cumin and then of course your traditional standby is there salt and good old pepper and then we're also going to throw just a little bit probably uh, oh just the neck of this uh, Shiner box black label All right, let's go ahead and get this started. I've got a pretty good size deep uh, dish frying pan here I'm gonna crank the heat up to pretty high. We'll throw in a oh, couple of tablespoons of this uh, olive oil just to do a little stir frying. We're gonna brown the uh, onions We'll chop the peppers up real fine and uh, we'll go ahead and I'm going to add a, just a little bit of garlic. We didn't see that uh, in the spice lineup, but I like to have a little of that toasted. Okay, that grease is getting pretty hot. I went ahead and added just uh, about a heaping tablespoon of uh, garlic onto the top of these uh, onions. And we'll go ahead and just get those stir fried up. Okay, while well, those are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and dice up these uh, jalapenos. Okay, I've got those uh, four jalapenos without the seeds diced up. We're going to go ahead and put those in there. I'd like to get those a little caramelized. Okay, that's doing pretty good. Now, while these are caramelizing, I'm going to go ahead and get this meat started browning. I'll get this beer in the pan. And then get this ground beef in there. The mix of the ground beef should have just enough fat in it to where your uh, chili won't taste too dry. The beer is pretty lean. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this Worcestershire sauce on here. And we'll put in a couple of tablespoons of that. We're also going to add a little bit of this cumin, a little about a teaspoon, maybe a couple of teaspoons. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put a little black pepper in on this. A couple of teaspoons of that, a tablespoon, whatever you got. Okay. The uh, meat is pretty well brown, as you can see. These uh, onions and peppers are pretty well caramelized now. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt. That is just salt to taste, but I'm going to put, oh, I don't know, maybe one and a half teaspoons in here. And I really like this meat to be kind of well done, crispy fried a little bit, so I'm going to just let it keep. Keep on cooking there. Keep working it around. I don't want it to burn, but it's got enough fat in it. Where it's going to stay juicy in that. You just got to watch it. It's a, it's a really high heat. Okay, that meat is pretty well browned. These uh, peppers and onions are caramelized. And I'm going to go ahead and switch burners here. Then we'll put these onions peppers right on top of that meat. We got some nice brown garlic in there. That should be pretty flavorful. 
Okay, let's get that all stirred in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with the juicier things and put some of these tomatoes in there. Those are mono tomatoes. And uh, with these diced peppers, uh, I mean diced uh, tomatoes, I went ahead and drained uh, some of the fluid off of that so that uh, this won't end up being more like a spaghetti sauce rather than chili. So we'll go ahead and put these diced tomatoes in here. This heat up a little bit that tomato tomato stuff cooled it off a little bit so we're going to go ahead and bring it back up to heat and then we're going to put some more of our uh, spicy saucy stuff in okay it's coming back up to heat now I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple of uh, I guess these are tablespoons of this chili powder we'll just sift that over it good that's really what gives it the old chili flavor All right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've drained these beans and I'm going to go ahead and add those in there. All right, we're going to do a little bit more spicing. I've got some paprika here. I'm going to put in, oh, I don't know, one to two uh, teaspoons of this. I think I've got a tablespoon here, but I guess two teaspoons maybe makes a tablespoon. Anyway, about that much. And then I've got some cayenne pepper here. We'll put in a little about the same of that. Now let's give that a little stir. Okay. It's getting pretty well near done. I'm going to go ahead and put in just a little bit of this liquid smoke. Just give it a few shakes just for a little bit of flavoring. And it's getting pretty hot now. I'm going to go ahead and put in one of these magic ingredients which is just a little shiner bock. I guess this is what makes this Texas chili. We're going to go ahead and I've only got one of these left in my six pack so I hate to put too much in there but I'm going to just put just about, oh, the neck of the bottle, I guess, up, just down to about there. Now, as you can see, it's starting to show a little bit of juice there, which is just fine. That keeps it from burning, but I am going to turn my fire down just a little bit so we don't get any scorching on the bottom. Okay, now it's time for the secret ingredient. Just a, about two tablespoons of these next, Nestle's Toll House uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. That helps it get a little bit of a smoky flavor. Okay, all the ingredients are in now. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this fire down a little bit and just let it simmer. And we'll let it simmer. I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it and just let it kind of steep in its own juices there for about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes now. And I believe this chip is done. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and ladle a little of this up in a bowl. And we'll put a little bit of uh, old cheddar cheese on it. We'll serve it with a little cheddar cheese. And we'll garnish it up with a little bit of crackers. And there you have it, venison chili.